I've been along to a children's art exhibition and I was very impressed. There were lots of little pictures. All these little pictures were around a guitar which had been painted and music did seem to be a theme. A lot of children do play the guitar and that must be a nice thing to have under your belt when you're growing up. But some of the little pictures were very detailed and I imagine children being given a huge great piece of paper and and um, that's what you have to do but if you give them a little piece of paper they seem to be able to cope with that and do some nice detailed things and maybe it's not too overwhelming lots of original ideas wonder what that that one's about with that person playing the cello and the and the person in the attic very Jungian um, and weather that was another theme the weather a lot of handprints of course handprints are quite easy for little ones to do and they look quite impressive oh here's the guitar with the pictures around the outside and creatures made out of boxes painted in brightly colors bright colors I think the teacher may have helped with some of the pictures because they don't quite have the childish look about them but uh, most of them look quite childy but very few primary schools have specialist art teachers so you know um, they may need a bit more encouragement than, than uh, secondary school age I just sort of, oh there's CD cover, I thought that was great, and a sort of mandala, very impressive. And these masks were uh, made by very young ones, and uh, mod rock, they'd be alright for sort of acting wouldn't they, with the handle on it. They very spooky though, a bit too spooky for children I think. Little village somewhere, looks like an Italian village. And um, prehistoric monsters. Right, so this is the village again. Some more masks, African masks, more music, guitars, and keyboards, more box creatures. Oh, there's a little village again. Oh, that's the end.